Local 4 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. Breaking news tonight. New video released of the man police believe killed Wayne State University Police Sergeant Colin Rose. And Rose's parents sit down with Local 4 Defender Karen Drew for an exclusive interview. We're glad you're with us tonight at 11. Let's start with the video you're seeing first on Local 4. Police believe the man who killed Sergeant Rose took off running and a D-Dot bus video camera actually caught the man. Defender Karen Drew is live breaking the story for us tonight and she also sat down with Rose's parents as well. Karen? Colin Rose's parents have really been shying away from the camera. They were afraid to speak. That is until tonight. They say they have something to say. And we'll get to that in a moment. But first, that exclusive video that offenders were able to obtain that could bring a major break to this case. Take a close look at this video. Police believe the man seen here running, then walking, then running in front of a bus is the same man that killed Sergeant Colin Rose. This video was taken from a DDOT bus about 10 minutes after the shooting of Sergeant Rose. The new video shows the same person, which we've tracked running from the scene, crossing Grand River in the area of Grand River and Rose Parks. After the shooting? After the shooting. Look at the posture, look at the way they're walking, um, look at the clothing that the person's wearing and, and see, if, see if you know who it is. Sullivan and Duplessis are part of the task force trying to find Sergeant Rose's killer. Right now we're investigating every possible lead. It was the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, November 22nd, when Rose was shot in the head while he patrolled just off of campus on Lincoln near Selden. Left behind by the killer, this blue and yellow mountain bike, a flashlight and gloves. Evidence has been recovered from these items, but who they belong to is still a mystery. We're worried that this isn't going to be the only time that this person commits one of these kinds of atrocities. 140 miles away in the small town of Richland is where Colin's parents live. There is a tree in the city park decorated with blue ribbons in Colin's honor. It's a world away from Detroit. Karen and Randy Rose spend a lot of time with one of Colin's dogs. They haven't talked about their son's death to the media until now. We're stepping out a little bit of our comfort zone to make a plea that says, hey, if anybody knows anything, please share the information with the police. Someone knows something, heard something, perhaps recognizes that bike or who was riding it the days before Rose was killed. It's tough to move on. Yeah. It's We still have kind of an open wound. The funeral service, the outpouring of support from officers, as well as canines, the Roses say was unbelievable. We just didn't realize how many people he touched. He loved what he was doing. Yeah. He loved it. He loved his job. Mm -hmm. And he died doing what he loved. I mean, he loved Detroit. He really did. Now, these parents say it's their job to keep pushing for answers, begging for someone to come forward, not only for justice for their son, but to find a killer on the loose. And someone who just may know this person could unlock the key to the mystery. We want the community to be safer. We want people to feel that they can go outside and walk, drive, ride, play, and not have to worry about a police killer out on the street. You know, we all grew up in neighborhoods, and you kind of know who belongs in your neighborhood and who doesn't. No matter how insignificant they might think that that tidbit of information would be, we, we beg them, we're pleading to them to please call the task force. Now, as Rose's parents continue to cope with the loss of their son, the Wayne State University Police Department has to cope with the loss of one of their own as well. So tomorrow at 5, another exclusive. The local four defenders were able to get access to these police officers. They've been also shying away from the camera. We're there at roll call. We're there on patrol. And I sit down with Chief Holt to talk about Sergeant Colin Rose and how this department is coping with that loss. Meantime, that video that we showed you at the top of the newscast, if you recognize that man or happen to have any information, call Crime Stoppers, that number 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Devin and Kimberly, the reward is $102,500. Police are hoping that tonight they're going to get some calls on this case. Yeah.
And maybe even they noticed the design that was on his shirt, just something, like you said, any little tidbit of information. Karen, I know you and I talked tonight on Facebook Live about this, mm -hmm. and even in death, Officer Rose is still making a huge impact for so many people. He really is. 75 lives have been touched because of him. He was the organ donor. That means 75 people had their lives changed because of the donation he made. A hero on the street, a hero in the department, and a hero for 75 strangers. All right, Karen. And if you'd like to take another look at the surveillance video, we recommend it. Uh, it the local four defenders just obtaining this tonight. Head to clickondetroit.com. You'll find the link on the homepage.